Okay, unit uh, 16, questions 79 to 82. So this is about the um, uh, microscopic organism and trypanosomes. Okay, a couple of things there. And uh, it talks about agglutination. And agglutination comes up pretty regularly. And agglutination is the clumping of cells uh, due to an antibody antigen interaction. So you know there's antibodies and antigens when you hear this agglutination taking place. Of course, we are the ones who produce the, uh, the antibodies uh, in order to you know, attack um, infection, um, to attack virus or, or bacteria or, or something that uh, has an antigen on it with some foreign offending um, organism or material or a foreign body. Also, it's, I guess it's important for you to notice uh, that on the graph, that uh, y-axis, that's increasing exponentially. Look at those numbers. It's going from 0 to 20 to 80 to 320 to 1280 to 5000, you know, and uh, so you have to keep that in mind. You know, it's always important to assess these things. And uh, if you want to, well, I guess uh, we'll look at uh, the first question first. 79, antibody uh, to uh, trypanosomes most likely appeared in rabbit blood on day. So most likely appeared in rabbit blood on day. Okay. Well, if you look at the graph, uh, you look at the day of plasma collection and um, uh, you look at the agglutination titer. So that's when you're having this antibody antigen interaction. That is like skyrocketing um, right around day seven you know you see it uh, going up a lot and so um, at quite a pace so at day seven seems to be uh, the um, uh, first time that uh, these titers appeared so 79 would be D and um, question 80 in uh, figure one indicates that on day 15 the rabbit had the greatest immunity against so we're going to look at that. Keep in mind that the rabbit now is the mammal. It's creating these antibodies against the antigen, which is the invading organism, these trypanosomes. And so we want to see where it had the greatest um, uh, effect on day 15. And uh, looking at day 15, going right up as high as you can, you see that it is graph 4. Um, you see it's graph four on day 15 that uh, has the highest level so we say day four trypanosomes so now they've got you warmed up so you should uh, be challenged a little bit more now 81 the reaction between day three trypanosomes and the plasma collected from the rabbits on progressive days from seven to nine inclusive increased because okay mm, Day three trypanosomes, um, okay, and then seven to nine inclusive. So why did it increase? The level of rabbit plasma antigen increased. That's incorrect. It's rabbit antibody. It's the trypanosomes that have the antigens. Uh, B, trypanosomes increasingly produced more antibody. It's the opposite antigens is what they make. Uh, C, the level of antigen on day three trypanosomes increased. On day three, the level of antigen, the level of antigen. Yeah, the level of antigen was in these organisms and this is fixed. The reaction, the level of the reaction depends on, on how the rabbit is going to react to the antigen. Um, D, antibody against trypanosomes increasingly appeared in the rabbit's blood. Now that makes sense. That over time, as it is exposed to it, um, the uh, rabbit uh, continues to increase the production of antibodies uh, to fight off the infection. So answer D for 81. 82, according to the, uh, all the evidence provided, which one of the following best explains the alteration? between episodes of severe and mild symptoms of sleeping sickness. Okay, the rabbit's immune system is damaged by trypanosomes. Hmm. Well, if it was the problem that the immune system was damaged, you wouldn't expect for them to have recurring episodes of mild symptoms. You'd expect it to get severe, and then the rabbit 
would die <laughs> if its immune system is, is really damaged, but not that it, it's cyclical like this. Trypanosomes evolve to become resistant to the antibiotics used against them. Well, I don't know uh, how many rabbits use antibiotics, but uh, this, was, uh, this was certainly not featured uh, in the article. Uh, see, the antigens on the trypanosomes in the rabbit's blood change from time to time. Now, this seems to be something that you have uh, experience with. You know, most you know, people have had the common cold. What is the common cold? You know, it's this virus that invades our body, and, uh, you know, we fight it off after a certain period of time, and then it comes back in different seasons. It just alters itself a little bit. It doesn't usually kill us, okay? Uh, but, um, you know, it, it sort of keeps this sort of chronic uh, type of uh, in, infection, which will uh, come and go and come and go. So it seems to be more like that. And the reason why is the common cold can keep changing uh, the antigens on it, on the viruses. Otherwise, we could destroy it with antibiotic, on antibiotics, and that would be the end of that. D. When ill, the victim of sleep sickness is periodically infected by new pathogenic virus. Well, you know, it's, it's possible, but what's the chances that you're uh, infected by new um, um, vi uh, inv invading organisms on such a regular basis, and then it's mild and it's severe and whatever. So it's, um, it seems like a little uh, unlikely. So answer choice C seems like uh, the best answer, 82C.